God promises in Revelation 20, verse 14 and 15, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and whosoever is not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. When Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, the fruit that they ate gave them blood poisoning, and later they died. When they began having children, they passed along this poisoned blood, because children get the same blood as their father. This is why Jesus had to be born of a virgin, and God was his father. If Joseph had been his father, Jesus' blood would have been poisoned also, and it would not contain the cleansing power that we need to wash away our sin. You see, all of us have sin in our heart. There are no perfect people anywhere in the world, and God will not allow any sin into heaven. And since there's only one other place we can go, which is hell, that simply means we are all in deep trouble. That's why Jesus was crucified and died on the cross. He was buried, and three days later, he arose from the dead and took his blood back up into heaven. His blood is what we need to get the sin out of our heart. And, by the way, his blood is the one and only thing that will remove sin out of your heart. doesn't matter what denomination you are, what church you go to, or if you have completed every good work in every religion and in every church, in every state, in every country. You cannot get into heaven with sin in your heart. And the only way to get your sin removed is to ask Jesus to take his blood and wash your sin clean and then he will write your name down in his book because God promises whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Won't you ask Jesus to do this for you today? Ask him to cleanse your heart and he promises that he will.